Bonjour, je m'appelle Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium permanganate. So let's take a look at how simple this is. I've created a nice little table. Bam, so the first thing we're gonna do is write the elements we see in the compound. So we have potassium, we write that a little bigger. Potassium, we have manganese, and we have oxygen. Then we're gonna identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, assume that there is a one there, well, because there is, All right? So there's one atom of each, potassium and manganese, and then there are four oxygens because the subscript of oxygen is a four. Then we're simply gonna take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of the element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play. So the potassium's mass is gonna be 39.10, manganese is 54.94, and oxygen is gonna be 16. So let's write them on on. So this is gonna be 39.10, this was 54.94, and this was 16. Then all we're simply gonna do is multiply this row on together. Uh, so that we find the total mass of the element in the compound. So this would be 39, so the total mass of potassium, that is, is going to be 39.10. Total mass of manganese is going to be 54.94. And then the total mass of uh, oxygen is going to be, well, not 16, because you got to multiply by 4, careful there, 64, right? And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add this column on up, and that works out to be 158.04. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you can like and subscribe, that would be amazing. It would mean the world to us. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Au revoir.